kiss for you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app developments. And so, guys, this will be the part six of my video series on Sound Recorder Pro app using Android Studio. All right, guys. So, in this video, we are going to start working for the recording service that we previously created this class. So, let's get started. So, first of all, we need to extend it with the service, and before that, let's just initialize it or define it in your android manifest file so for that we can just say this because i already i i always f forget to declare the service so i thought to include it or define it uh, before uh, writing the code so here what we are going to do is first we will have some method so first of all we will have the on create method that is called only once when the service is created and then we will need to have the on bind method and you need to remove this nullable because this is the android x and then here we will have the on start command all right here these are the method that we need to define and also we need to define the on destroy method and okay so first of all before doing anything we need to first of all initialize some variables so here we will have a the media recorder and we can say uh, we can initialize it then we will have the long uh, m starting time millis and it will be zero initially and also we will have long m elapsed millis and it will also be zero then we will have the file object that will contain the absolute uh, the absolute path of the audio file where we are going to store it then we will have the string fi of file name and then okay so after this what we are going to do here inside our on start command method we are going to write the code for start recording and then we can say return start sticky all right so now we can easily write the code here the this is the start recording and for our start recording first of all we can get the timestamp so for that we can say long ts long equal to system dot current time millis divided by thousand and then we can simply say ts uh, i mean the timestamp equal to ts long dot to string and finally we can simply say file name equal to audio underscore plus ts okay so this will be our file name and then we can simply say file equal to new file and here we will say environment dot get external public storage plus here we will write the code my let me see what i defined it in my rec record fragment okay my sound rec so here we can simply say my sound rec and here we can also say slash plus file name plus dot mp3 because we will store it with the mp3 format so here now we need to initialize our uh, media recorder so we can say media recorder equal to new media recorder then we can set first of all the uh, audio source so we can say media recorder dot set audio source and here we can say media recorder dot audio source dot mic then we can set the output format so we can say media recorder dot set output format and here we can say media recorder dot output format dot mpeg4 
and then we can say media recorder dot set output file and here we can say file dot get absolute path and then we can say media recorder dot set audio encoder and then we can say media recorder dot audio encoder dot double ac and then finally we can say media recorder dot set audio channel and it will be one all right and finally we will just start the our media recorder so for that we can say strike catch block inside this so we will have it io exception and inside our try block we can say media recorder dot prepare and then we will say media recorder dot start all right and finally we can also find our m starting time milis and it will be equal to system dot current time milis okay so now we have this start recording method and also we will have the stop uh, recording method so we can say private void stop recording and inside that we will first of all stop our media recorder and then we can say m elapsed time milis equal to system dot current time milis minus m starting time milis all right and then finally we will release our media uh, recorder so we can say media recorder dot release and finally we can just print a message that uh, recording saved and plus we can display the file dot get absolute path okay so we will say that and uh, finally we need to add it to our database so for our adding it to the database so we can we will write the code in our next part of the video so i will just write add to database all right and then here inside our own destroy method we will first of all uh, we can say if media recorder is not equal to null then we can simply say stop recording all right so for the stop recording okay so now i think that is enough for uh, this video i hope you have understood so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye